Hey, what's going on everybody? And today I'm going to show you how to block websites using Swift 2 with Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead, open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. This will be a single view application. Click next and our product name, I'm just gonna call mine content blocker, but you can really call it whatever you want. Our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to universal, although this really doesn't matter because we are utilizing JSON and really none of it's Swift. So go ahead, click next and create. And right now, uh, one thing you'll notice is that you have a few targets. So you have your content blocker, your content blocker test, and your content blocker UI tests. Now, this content blocker is, is pretty much your application. So what we need to do here is actually add another target. So let's go up here and just say file, new, target, and this will be our content blocker extension. So essentially what this is going to do, it's going to build a content blocker off of your application right here, and it's going to target all of the Safari browsers that are going to be utilized in applications. And in that sense, it's going to block all the websites that you put inside of your JSON. So if we go to the product name, I'm just gonna call this my content blocker. Uh, two, just because you have to name it a different target, and just say finish. Then now it says activate content blocker two scheme. I'm just gonna say cancel. If you did say activate, it's not that hard to fix it. You just go right up here to the top left corner and you'll see this target that says content blocker and it has a little E on it. You want to go to this content blocker so it builds it as an application, not just targeting the Safari browser itself. So now let's go down here to our content blocker two file that we just created. And right down here we have our blocker list. So now let's just go down here to our content blocker two folder that we just created. And this is going to put in here the blocker list.json. This is essentially where you're going to program everything that you want to block. Then you have action request handler.swift. This is essentially just going to handle the JSON that you put inside of here and utilize it inside of Safari. Info.plist. I typically don't mess around with this kind of stuff. So let's just go up here to our blocker list.json. So now going through what this all means, right here you have an array. So these square brackets signify there's an array going on. So now we have that array, and then inside of this, what do we want to happen? Well, we have a few functions. And right inside of here, we have an action. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's what do you want to do when is something is triggered. So we have the trigger right here, and basically what this is doing, it, we put a URL filter. And it says, if this is found on the web page, we don't display it. So we have the action type block. So we are blocking whatever that trigger is. So right now, as you can see, I've filled it out with webkit.org slash images slash icongold.png. So if we build and run this, one thing you'll notice is it's actually going to block that website page. So it's built and ran. We can click home. And what you need to do to utilize the content blocker itself, you swipe over to your settings right there. And then you go down here to Safari, click on content blockers like so. And as you will see, I have a few content blockers, but there's ad block, content block, content blocker, which is the one that we just used. And now if you see that it's turned on, just to make sure that everything works properly, you need to turn it off and then back on. And essentially that just reloads the JSON so that everything works properly again. And you'll have to do this every time you build and run the application just to refresh the JSON. So now let's go back and just head right into Safari. And now in the search bar, I can just go webkit.org slash images slash icongold.png. And as you can see, it says about blank. So it has blocked the web page. Now, if you want to try this again with a different website, you can just go up here, go to your URL filter, and you can just type in something like apple.com. So now anything that has apple.com in the URL is going to be blocked. So if we were to build and run this right now, as you can see, we're in our application. So now we need to head home to our settings browser right here, turn off our content blocker, turn it back on to refresh the JSON. Then of course, go back to Safari and we can go to apple.com. And as you can see, it doesn't display anything. But if we were to go to like google.com, just to show you that it's not blocking everything, we can go to google.com and it does it perfectly. Now, if you wanna block multiple websites, what you need to do is go right up here and we can actually just copy and paste from this curly bracket to this curly bracket. We can just copy and paste everything inside of there. Put a comma right after this curly bracket. So just put a comma right there. Again, this is an array, so you'll have to put commas in between the certain things that you want. Then after that, you just click enter, paste your function, add some spacing just to make things a little bit neater. And now we can change our URL filter and I'll block my own website. I can say Architap. So if it contains anything in there that says Architap, 
you block it. Or if you want to just make it architect.com, then you can also block just architect.com. There, there's a difference in what you need to do. So again, go back to settings, content blocker off on Safari, and go to architect.com. And as you can see, it's blank. And also apple.com is blank as well. So it's really easy to block content on iOS. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, hello, my name is Julius. I'm from Denmark, and I developed this app. It basically try to guess how old you are. Um, so if I take a picture here, and it's loading, analyzing, I am a 15 year old male. Basically, it's just picking a random uh, number. So, see you in the next one. By the way, sorry for the lack of tutorials. Things have been really busy with me lately, so I'll be sure to do some more in the future. I'm trying to, I have a whole list of things that I need to get done. So yeah.